Go to the layer menu in Affinity Photo and New Layer. Then go to the Gradient tool, apply a gradient, and now do it at an angle, about 60 degrees, something like that. You don't want it to be straight up, straight down. You want it like 60 degrees, black and white, and linear. Then go to Filters, and then go down there to Distort and Fine. With that, you've got here, Scale Y. What I want to do, say 25%, a bit more manageable. So 25%, you can see the result there, and also Mirror. Just gonna go with that one, the last one there. You could use Wrap, perfect reason as well. Apply, and again, repeat it fine. And you can repeat it a couple of times, maybe go, maybe a bit too far, but I'm just gonna go with that. And also, just gonna resize just slightly. Don't have to resize it a lot, just a little bit like that. And now, I can go here and say Filters, Distort, and Deform. Now, I'd love to see a wave design a wave filter in this. For some weird reason, they've never included that. And you can add these. This is about the closest, I think. I mean, please put in the comments below how you achieve your wave designs. But I always find it slightly tricky to create really great wave designs because it always ends up adding sort of like kinks in the design, which is not always what I want. You can see that, yeah, just by dragging it along there like a, a wave design, you can see the result there. And again, there. Up that way and of course just try and avoid getting too many so you've got that so you can see the wave up and down again it would be brilliant if there was a particular filter for waves deform is useful but it does require a bit of fiddling to to get it to get that and of course now once you've got that wave design well you might say you know what i don't want it just like that you can use maybe threshold so you can always go to layer new adjustment layer and go down to threshold and you get sort of this nice, very intense and you can vary it. So you can decide, you know what, let's go for like that. Instead of, so you've got white there and just black there. So you can use other effects. Don't have to, don't have to, of course, you can just keep the threshold off and just use the actual standard lines like that. And you can also hold down the option, alter option key and duplicate that design. You can see then you've got that design but what you can do, go to filters again and distort and deform. And again, you just go there and you can just for that layer. And again, it always puts over there and you can distort that up and you can vary that position. So you can see that can be moved up there. That can be moved down there. That one there could be maybe moved up that way. Now you don't want to push too far because you can see what happens, it distorts. So I just want it just like that. And again, drag that down there. Maybe drag that off there. Again, you can push it too extreme, starts distorting itself, which is not what I want to achieve. And again, you can drag that up that way. However, once you've done that, click apply. Of course, it's just a layer, just a standard layer. So you can always go to down here, effects. Click there. And with that, you can turn around and say, well, let's go for uh, an outer shadow. So outer shadow. So you can just quickly add an outer shadow to it. Click. And you can see now you've got your design there. However, of course, it's still a layer. You still hold down the alter option key and you can duplicate it again. And you can go like that, create design like that. Also again, go to filters, distort and deform. In exactly the same way, just distort it again. Now you might decide, you know what, this is just exactly what the point I want. But maybe, now you can see what happens sometimes, you get that sort of like bit cut off have to be very careful with the edges. So you just might like try and drag that over there, just drag that, or you end up with this sort of distortion like that. Try and undo at that point and avoid it if you can. But you might want that, I don't know. But you can push it to a certain degree, distort that there and just distort that, create that. But it will occasionally just distort in a way that I think doesn't look so great. And again, drag that in. And again, you've got this problem with, unfortunately, it pulls away from there. And you can create all kinds of weird and wonderful wavy designs using this approach. Remember to click apply, of course, once you've done it. And you've got this wavy design there. And you can see you can build up all kinds of layers. And again, hold down the alter option key. But you can see what happens now. You've got this cut off here. So you might want to just resize that. And you can see, just drag that. Again, you can do it within limits. Obviously, it's, it's going to not look great after a while because it's just not you can only push it so they're just pixels you can't push it beyond the limits of uh... 
Well, once you've done that, you can see the end result there. Okay, I'm saying that I've got a slight imperfection over there. Again, with this design, what you can also do is you can go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and down to Threshold. With Threshold, you can see now the result is you actually can make that fade away a bit. So you can make it very, very thin. And you can just change the settings for the threshold. So again, you can just go like that. Make it very, very dark. Great, very dark way. But you've got this very intense black lines here and white over here. And close it. Close that. And you see you've got your design there. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.